Good morning everybody. Today we are going to discuss about chapter 4 formatting numbers. In the previous class we have discussed about task 1 format SL. So today we will be discussing about the next task that is task number 2 make calculations. So in this chapter you will be using Microsoft Excel software. The main reason we use a spreadsheet is to make difficult calculations very fast and accurately. Now we are moving on to the requirements of this lesson. The first requirement is computer with Windows 10 operating system. The second requirement is Microsoft Excel 2019. And the third and final requirement is headphones. Now, the topics that we are going to cover in this lesson. The first topic is sum. The second topic is autofill tool. The third topic is average. Fourth one is format decimal. Fifth one is max. And sixth one is min. So, to make your life easier, Microsoft Excel has a lot of functions. A function is a predefined formula. So, we have all these functions right here and we will be discussing more about these how to do how to do all these calculations using Microsoft Excel so first we are moving on to the first topic that is sum sum gives the result of the addition of the numbers that you have selected so suppose that in math you have three numbers that is 4 1 and 5. If you want to add these four numbers, what will you do? You will do 4 plus 1 plus 5. So the answer will be 10, right? So we will be using the same concept in Microsoft Excel also. So I will minimize this and show how it is done in Microsoft Excel. So here, here this is my desktop. And here at the bottom left corner, I have the start button. I'm pressing the start button. So here you can see there are so many so many programs, and in this, in this, you have to select Excel. Now this is the Excel software. I want you guys to select the blank workbook. So here you can see there are so many columns. You can see the columns A, B, C, D. These are the columns on the top and one two three these are the rows and every single individual rectangular rectangular box is called a cell and you guys know how to name the cell right so if i'm pressing this one the name of the cell is d6 so first we'll, we will be writing the name of the column then the respective row so if i'm pressing this one the name of this cell will be b3 if I'm pressing this one, G4, right? So I suppose it is clear to everybody, yeah? So next thing what we have to do is we have to type in some information here so that we can do our sum function. So I have already done that for you guys. I will show you the things that I have written. So here you can see students grade. Then in the first column you can see the students names Stella, Tom, Kim, Marco, Lisa, Alex. In column B you can see the marks of geography. In column C you can see the marks of math. In column D you can see the marks of history and in column E you can see the sum. So we have to find the sum that is our motif. So in order to find the sum first we are considering Stella. We have to find the total mark of Stella. So in order to find the total mark of Stella what we have to do we have to add the mark of geography plus the mark of math plus the mark of history that Stella got that is 19 plus 20 plus 20 so here we have to write a formula so I'm pressing I'm keeping my mouse pointer here at E4 cell and then I'm going to write a symbol formula so the formula is starting with the equal sign then the name of the function. So here the name of the function is sum. So I am writing sum. Then I want you guys to add an opening bracket. 
Next thing, inside this opening bracket, we have to write the range of the values that you have to add. So here the range is starting from B4, that is the geography mark of Stella, to D4, that is the history mark of Stella. So if you are providing this ranges, everything in between will be adding. So the first one is B4, this one, B4. So I'm going to write it here, B4. Then you have to put the column mark. And the next thing you have to do is, it is ending at B, D4. So D4. And then I'm closing the bracket and I'm pressing enter using my keyboard. So you can see 59 right here, yeah? So 19 plus 20 plus 20 is 59, right? So I want you guys to do the same for all the marks. That is for, I want you guys to find the sum for or the total mark of Tom, Kim, Marco, Lisa and Alex. So this is our first task. Now we are moving on to the second topic that is autofill tool. If you want to find the sum for another set of data, for example, the rest of the students, you don't have to do the same. There is a faster way to calculate the sum for multiple sets of data. It is called as autofill. So I will show you how to do this autofill in Microsoft Excel. So we are going back to our Excel sheet. So here I have the sum of Stella. So suppose that I have I want to find the total sum of Tom, Kim, Marco, Lisa and Alex more in a more faster way. What I have to do is I first thing I have to do is I have to select the total sum that is the sum of Stella that E4 cell and then look at the cursor. If I'm moving into the corner that is the right bottom corner you can see how the cursor is changing into a plus symbol right so if you got this plus symbol i want you to press the mouse left button of the mouse and then drag it downwards and once you are done you can release the mouse click so can you see how fast this thing is coming that is how fast the results are coming yeah so if you are considering each and everything that is for lx 20 plus 20 plus 19 is 59, right? So the sum, the, the total sum of all the students that came in, in in less than one second, right? So you don't have to write the formula that is equal sum, that formula, that big formula in each and every one. So if you have one, if you have done uh, the sum in first one, you can just use the autofill tool to find the sum of the the whole list suppose that if you have the number of students is thousand so in a fraction of seconds you can find the sum of students using autofill tool right so this is the advantage of the autofill tool it is it is not time consuming it is really fast okay so this is our second task i want you guys to do the same using the autofill tool okay now we are moving on to the third topic Now we are moving on to the third topic that is finding the average. So in this one, average calculates the average of the selected area. So I, uh, I think you guys know how to find the average of some numbers, right? So I want you to take a paper and pencil and I want you to write three numbers that are 6, 7 and 5. So in order to find the average, first thing you have to do is you have to add these three numbers, 6 plus 7 plus 5, which will be giving you, right, 18, yeah? So 18 is the sum. Now, 18 should be, the sum should be divided by num how many numbers we have here, 1, 2, 3, yeah, 3 numbers. So 18 divided by 3, which will be giving you the answer. 6 right if you are using the calculation in the paper you you will clearly understand this so this is how you find the average that is average means if you have three or three numbers first thing you have to do is you have to add these three numbers and then you have to divide it by 
3. If you have 4 numbers, add the 4 numbers divided by 4. So, I hope you guys understood what is average. So, when we are moving to the Excel, here we have a column for average. So, just like the sum, we have to do a, a formula here. So, I, I have selected F4 cell. And then I am going to write the formula equal the name of the function is average so it will be average instead of sum it will be average and then opening the bracket now doing that range that is from b4 to d4 for stella it will be from b4 to d4 so i'm going to write the same b4 colon d4 closing the bracket and pressing the enter button so now you can see the average of these three numbers this is the average mark for Stella 19.66667 is the average mark for Stella okay now you have a method called autofill right so if you are doing the same for average you will get the marks of all other that is the average mark of all other students so I have pressed the cell F4 and then I'm moving my cursor to the bottom right corner so now you can see that plus symbol yeah the cursor is changed into a plus symbol then I want you guys to drag it downwards until Alex uh, Alex and then release it so you can see clearly all the average markers here right so this is the third task that we have done so i want you guys to do the same thing next is we are moving on to the next task that is format decimals so format decimals the means the average value are having a lot of decimals right so we have seen so many decimal places in the average value that we that we have already done these decimals means which are the digits after the decimal mark that is after that full stop mark that you have seen 19.6667 right so that is called as a decimal number okay you can trim down the number of decimals so i will show you how to trim down the number of decimals okay so we are moving back to the excel so here we have all the decimal numbers so i am selecting f4 the first one with the decimal which is a decimal number 19.66667 and then what i'm going to do is can you see these two here decrease decimal show fewer decimal places can you read that so if i'm pressing that one look at the change that is happening to this f4 cell okay the decimal is decreasing right now it is 20 so this is how you decrease the decimal places okay and if you want to make it increase there is another button near to this one increase decimal so if you are pressing that one you can see the decimal places is increasing so this is how you increase and decrease the decimal places so i hope you guys are understood so i want one place after the decimal so for everything i want one place after the decimal so i'm doing the same here and the next one for the kim's average i'm doing the same and marco's average i'm selecting marco's average doing the same thing okay this is how you trim down the decimal points okay is that clear so this is our fourth task now we are moving on to the fifth task now we are moving on to the fifth topic that is max max function gives you the largest number of the selected group of numbers so suppose that you have some numbers here so i have some numbers here that is 10 20 5 50 80 and 56 so this max function will find the largest number the largest number as the definition it will find the largest number of the selected group of numbers so these are the numbers that i have provided so max will select the largest number so here you can see this 80 is the largest number right so this is how you find the max one 
and now we have another one that is min so min means min function gives you the smallest number of the selected group of numbers so i will show you how to find the min function okay so here i have these numbers from these numbers we can see we have to find the smallest number that is the min function has to find the smallest number so it is clearly seen that 5 is the smallest number so after doing this min function it will produce an output that is 5 5 will be the output of this function okay now we have to implement these using the formulas in microsoft excel so i will show you how it is being done so we have the microsoft excel right here here we have the maximum grade and then we have the minimum grade right here so we have to provide the value of the maximum grade and the value of the minimum grade so here first we are considering the maximum grade so from this average we have to find the maximum value and the minimum value so the formula will be just like the sum and average we will be selecting the cell B12 and then entering the formula equal max that is the name of the function then we will be opening the bracket we will be opening the bracket and writing the range that is range is from F4 to F9 so F4 colon F9 we are closing the bracket and we are pressing enter button so here you can see 19.7 is the maximum value from this range in this range if you are doing the mental math you can clearly understand that 19.7 is the maximum grade right so we got the correct answer next one is minimum grade minimum grade means from the same list i have to select the minimum value so the range will be from f 4 to f9 so everything in between f4 and f9 it will be automatically taking so the same formula equal the name of the function as min so i will be writing min and then opening the brace that is opening the bracket and then writing the range that is f4 f4 colon f9 and then adding the ending braces and then pressing enter button in the keyboard so you can see if you are doing the mental math you can clearly clearly see 18.7 is the minimum value in this list right so the answer is also correct so that is all for today's class so i want you guys to do it again how to do the sum how to do the average autofill tool maximum grade and the minimum grade if you want to change the value it is also okay I, if you want to change the name it is also okay you can add the names of your friends and everybody that is also okay so i want you to practice these five tasks okay that's it now we will be having we will be having an assignment i will upload the assignment and then do it for the next week you will be having one week for next thursday i want i want you guys to upload all of your uh, assignment to the apps uh, okay so now see you next thursday bye